First up, let's talk about visual impairments. Over 2 million people live with sight loss. Sight loss affects all sorts of people. It's more common in older people, but can affect people of any age. Travelling by bus for someone with a visual impairment can be nerve-wracking, especially if I'm travelling alone or to a new, new location. So, if I was to get a bus, I would like the bus driver to be aware that I'm visually impaired and be aware that I have support and that it takes me a bit longer to get on and off the bus and when we get to a place I would like the bus driver to not close to wait for me when we get to my stop and not close the door until I've actually got out the bus because then that makes me feel a bit anxious because then I feel pressured to get out off the bus and I need a bit more time to get off the bus because buses every bus is different but buses aren't and buses aren't as familiar for me so what can you do to support these passengers what barrier which people with video impairment face is knowing which bus they want when they're waiting at the bus stop. If you cannot see the route on the front of the bus, it's very difficult to identify which bus you need. You cannot know that someone has a visual impairment simply by looking at them, but there are a few indicators that you can look out for. If someone is waiting at the bus stop with a guide dog or with a white cane, it is likely that they may have a visual impairment. So I would wear a lanyard and I would possibly take my cane with me and I would also have someone supporting me so they would know because there would be someone guiding me getting on and off the bus. If you see someone who you think may have a visual impairment waiting at a bus stop, then stop the bus, regardless <coughs> to whether they signal for you or not. Once you pulled up, open the door and say hello, and explain what number bus route you are on. If they want to board the bus, describe the environment. Let them know if there's a step or a gap up to the bus. People with sight loss will have varying degrees of sight, or none at all. They are experts in knowing how much support they need, so simply ask them what can you do to support them. When they board the bus, ask them where they are going, or offer to let them know when they have arrived at their destination. Tell them if there are any changes to the service or disruptions which may make them worry um, if they are on the right bus or not. Continue to guide the passenger verbally. Explain what they need to do, whether that's showing a bus pass or using a payment system. Describe where there are free seats on the bus and offer to guide them to the seat if needed. And make sure you wait until they are seated before you move away. Communication is key throughout the journey, so don't be afraid to ask someone questions yeah. if you're unsure how to support them. Contrast lines. If your bus doesn't already have one, talk to the company about adding contrast lines onto the bus stumways. This supports people with video impairments to know where the step is. Next up we are going to discuss hearing loss. Hearing loss affects one in five adults in the UK. Therefore it is very likely that you will meet a passenger with hearing loss every single day. Levels of hearing loss vary from mild loss to profound deafness, but in a noisy environment like a bus, even those with mild hearing loss may find it difficult to follow a conversation. So how can you best support these passengers? Look directly at the customer. Try to make sure that nothing is covering your mouth, as many people lip read. Speak normally, don't exaggerate your words, as this could often make it more difficult to lip read. Use actions to help communicate, such as pointing, and most importantly, 
be patient. If someone asks you to repeat something, don't get frustrated, no matter what kind of day you're having. Try not to repeat this sentence in exactly the same way. Ver verifying your voice, changing your pitch and using different words may help someone understand what you're saying better. Next we're going to talk about speech and language. Disability can affect speech in a number of different ways. Some people may speak slower, may occasionally say the wrong word, may have slurred speech or a stutter, and some will use assistive devices to speak. I can't talk, but don't talk to my PA. My speech can be quite clear most of the time. But sometimes there's times when I struggle and that's when I get stressed or, or I'm in a rush. So again, just um, make sure you listen carefully and reassure the person that it's okay to take their time. And if if you miss something or don't understand, don't be afraid to ask because we're okay with people asking to repeat something. I would rather I got my point across and was there properly and then, and then rather than the driver assuming that he heard something, which I didn't say. Mm -hmm. So don't be frustrated and give people the time they need to finish what they're saying. Don't interrupt or butt in or try and finish their sentence for them. And if they're with someone, whether that be a carer or just like a friend or a family member, don't automatically defer to that person. Speak to disabled people as a customer that you have on your bus.